Welcome to Wellness Maricopa at MCC's Mindful Minutes. When you hear the word mindfulness, what comes to mind? Being more centered, reducing stress? With these podcasts, which you can find on the MCC's wellness webpage at www.mesacc.edu forward slash employees forward slash wellness dash employees, you can explore ways to become more mindful and integrate them into your everyday life. Have fun exploring and stay mindful and well. Hi, Debbie. Hi, Gail. How are you today? I'm doing well. How are you? Good. Good. Nice to be here again. It's great to have you again. So today you're going to talk about difficult emotions. Indeed. Can mindfulness practices be used to manage difficult thoughts and emotions? And if so, is there a practice for that? <laughs> there is a practice for that. We have a practice for everything in this, in this field. So one of the things we have to recognize with difficult emotions is the, how natural they are and how normal they are. Mm -hmm. Emotions come in a whole continuum, those that are warm and fuzzy and, those, and then those that are uncomfortable and fiery. So it's usually the ones that are fiery that we have the most challenges with. So when we begin to pay attention, that's the idea of mindfulness, awareness, and presence, paying attention, and being with, we recognize or we begin to see that strong emotions really come in two ways. One, it's a reactivity to an event or a circumstance, and we have a wave of emotion that comes. Then the sneaky ones are those that we have not really faced and will be minding our own business and we just get swept away by them. Either one, it doesn't matter where they come from, but we need to look at emotions as simply weather patterns that are coming and going just like cycles of the weather. So with difficult emotions in particular, there's a tendency to want to push them away. Mm -hmm. I don't like the way they feel. This is really uncomfortable. And we resist. Or we've been trained to suppress those emotions because they're unattractive. W regardless, the, um, the way we practice with, with them is like we tend to a small child. They have to be seen. They have to be felt. They have to be tended to. And so the practice that I will share with you today will be about cultivating a difficult emotion, one that's really manageable, so that has a little bit of charge, but you'll get an idea of how the practice steps go. Be careful that you don't um, activate yourself. So on a scale of 1 to 10, don't pick 10. Pick something that you're working on that's maybe about a 4 or 5. Okay. So it'll be a visualization practice. And so I'll invite you to become comfortable, recognize and become aware of the body, closing the eyes if that feels available or simply moving the eyes to a halfway open downward gazing posture. And then we'll begin by Grounding ourselves first, feeling our feet planted on the earth, feeling our seat supported in the chair. Finding the movement in the body where the breath is being received. Perhaps even breathing a bit slower and deeper with great awareness. And now using the thinking aspect of the mind to bring into the mind a situation that's emotionally charged for you. It could be something from the past or something that you're currently working through now. And bring, bring it to mind with as much imagery and vividness as possible. See the place it's taking place in. See the people associated. Maybe even the colors and the smells. 
and replay it. Remember it. As though it were happening right now. And in doing so, it's possible that you might feel the body change as these thoughts and emotions are revisited. practice that we'll be using is called RAIN. It's an acronym. So as you're re-experiencing these emotions, recognize what's happening. Recognize what's here. Is it possible to find a label? Is this anger or grief? Is this betrayal? Recognize. And then allow. Allow this to be here. The tendency is perhaps to push it away, but it wants to be seen. It wants to be felt. It needs to be digested. So allow this to be just as it is. Can I be with this? Can I be with this? And then moving to the eye is to investigate where is this in the body? If this is rage, where is rage known? How does rage, rage interface with the belly or the jaw. If this is betrayal, where is betrayal? The tendency with investigate is to try and find blame. It's not what we're here for. We're here to become aware and present for how this energy is manifesting in the body. And then finally, is it possible to nurture, nurture ourself? Difficult emotions are uncomfortable, and yet they're a normal part of the human experience. What kindness can I reach out to myself with? Even a simple, you'll be okay. I'm here. And then also in this end phase is to remember that you are not the emotion. There's a non-identification. This is not who you are. You're not the anger. You're not the betrayal. Simply energy moving through. Difficult emotions can feel solid. But when we look deeply, we realize that they're not. They come and they go. And so opening the lens of awareness 
letting go of the imagery, but keeping with you the sense that there's a practice that can help us untangle, clip the fibers that knot us, finding a way back to the breath, awareness of the breath, And if that practice felt more charged than you would have liked, reconnect with your seat in the chair. Reconnect with the feet on the earth as ways of mitigating any trauma. As all practices, they only work if they are used. And while this may have felt artificial and contrite, trust that the seeds have been planted, the seeds of rain. Recognize what is happening within you. Can it be named? Allow it to be there because it is. It's already here. It wants to be seen and known and sensed. Investigate it with kindness. Where is it in the body? What is it like? And then nurture oneself. Remembering that this is not who you are. and know that all emotions are part of the human experience, even the ones that are challenging. May you be well, may you stay well. Thank you. Thank you, Debbie, that was great. I hope it helps. <laughs>